hanging out in the mountains this weekend, and yesterday we had fun with acrylic paint, and this is what the girls did. So this is what Miss B did. What was your title for this one? Sunset at the Forest. Oh, and she also did this one. Black Hole Galaxy. Yeah. That's had, a black hole. She had a lot of fun doing these paintings. And Boo did this painting. Do you remember what you called it? Cloudy Hillside. Cloudy Hillside. So that's fun with acrylics, and that's what we did yesterday. Oh, speaking of galaxies. <laughs> yeah. Miss B loves galaxies. And the Milky, and the Milky Way is right here, and then this is just a different okay. galaxy. Okay, but today we're going to talk about drawing and art boxes. So, all right, Miss B, what can you tell us about the art box that you and Boo share here? The art box is a very special thing, and this isn't is here for maybe we can do a watercolor. That's for when we're going to do some watercolors, yeah. It's for a technique. You have pencils, normally without an eraser, but since we have one, you can use an eraser, but just remember there's no mistakes in art. And you can have some crayons and a marker that doesn't work. <laughs> you can have some colored pencils that are very dull. Yes, because we forgot Make sure to you include a sharpener. Yes. A pencil sharpener is very handy. Use the case for the crayons. Yeah, and then we also have some. We also have some paper in here. Yeah, get some paper. Now, for drawing every day, you should you can use just notebook paper or a sketchbook. sketchbook. And this one here that I have is a uh, sketchbook with watercolor paper in it. Yes, we'll get to group later. And uh, one of the uh, helpful hints I have for drawing every day is to get some help from other sources. Like, for example, last March, I joined a Facebook group that uh, gave us an assignment every single day. And we would write down the assignment, and then we'd pick something to do, and you could draw it or use watercolor. And so every day the assignment changed, but we had the option of uh, picking exactly how we wanted to interpret what the assignment was. And then uh, sometimes I didn't get much done. Sometimes I just got a, a preliminary sketch done and no watercolors involved. Uh, and then after after uh, it was the assignments were all over, I decided to keep on drawing and setting myself a task. So in April, I added a few things. I was a flower pot that Boo and Miss B gave me. An envelope, ah, baby Groot. He's a pencil holder I have. And then I went to the zoo, took a photo, and then did this little watercolor of, of my flower. Uh, practiced a little bit with a new fountain pen that I had. And these are the pencils that I use. Generally a B or a 2B. And uh, so I can just put in a light design and add watercolor if I want to, or go over it with um, pen and ink. And uh, so that's how I try to draw every day. So I find ideas online. Sometimes we can just look around the room that you're in. Um, Boo was drawing earlier, just things that she saw sitting around this room. And as you can see, Ms. B right now is drawing a picture of the back of her uh, cell phone. Phone case. Okay. Yeah. I'm drawing my phone case. I couldn't write the my vision is fine. So anyway, that's just to give you some ideas of what you can do uh, to get around to drawing every day. So go to it. And we will see you next time. Until next time. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>